Oscar Schindler said I knew the people who worked for me. When you know people, you have to behave towards them like human beings. Born on 20th April 1908, Oscar Schindler died on 9th October 1974 in Germany. He was a German industrialist, humanitarian and a member of the Nazi party who was credited with saving the lives of 1,200 Jews during the Holocaust by employing them in his enamelware and ammunition factories in occupied Poland and the protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia, the art of behaving. I knew the people, that is where the political leaders must understand that towards them like human, when you know the people, behave to them like human beings means it is not that their people were not human beings. Just expression of your love through your hard labor, what you understood to be truthful to the human being, truthful to the people who you have begged for a vote, who you have begged to become the leader, whom you have promised that you will lead and not yield to pressure tactics. That was what Oscar Schindler meant by, I knew the people who worked for me. Meaning to know them, you have to be in touch with the people. To know them means you have to keep in non-stop developing and finding ways to bring down their pain. When you bring down the pain in the sense when you create facilities, the pain automatically vanishes and they feel people are not stupid. People knew, people will know it is through you the development has happened and they will of course except your leader. You do not have to find out whether they will make you win the elections. Don't worry about this and that. Every leader knows losing and winning was not the criteria. They wanted to participate, they want to go to the people and then in a democratic situation the vote banking came. Oscar Schindler said, I knew the people who worked for me. When you know people, you have to behave towards them like human beings. That is where the factories and companies started growing. And if the factory head, the factory owner, understand this one that through his prayers, through his hard labor, he doesn't believe in God, never mind. Through his hard labor, through his tactics and techniques, he could pull in a huge amount of people walking towards his factories, working in his factories. It is almost equal to seeing God in God's form. And when God's come, Aditi Devo Bhava, I know you are giving them salary, but more than the salary, taking care of them like human beings means be truthful to them that you promise to take care of them. Coming inside your house, coming into your factory is like, is like they're doing a Shashtanga Namaskara to you. Once a person does a Shashtanga Namaskara, now it is your duty to make sure that you will not break their family. You will try to unite them as much as possible. You will make sure that the health is very important and you, you will make sure that apps are created that non-stop like how the Baiju's app is working to non-stop call the children to non-stop study, to do the homework, to finish it up. That kind of app is very, very important in the factories to make sure whether they have done the exercises, whether they have done the medical checkups, and what medical check of natural methods, whether they were able to save and then spend, whether they were able to save the money, whether they did to keep in touch with their parents, connect to joint family and family tree. That is where the beauty comes. I knew the people who worked for me, only then you can tell. I knew them and they will 100% know you very well. When you know people, you have to behave towards them like human beings. When you win the elections or don't win the elections, even then, you go to house to house, every house to house. If you stop one day talking to your people, one day, one day if you don't do exercise, don't think that the church said it is six days and seventh day you go on a holiday. That is a different topic. But I'm talking about the connecting, like every day making a call to your family. Every day making a call to your joint family, strengthen the family tree. <laughs> Oscar Schindler said, I knew the people who worked for me. When you know people, you have to behave towards them like human beings. When teachers, children go to the schools and colleges, universities, 
then the lecturers are not part-time lecturers like how the private colleges are behaving. Part-time lecturers throw them a thousand rupees or two thousand rupees for an hour and use them. And when they use those lecturers and professors, professor lecturers throw a shit to the children whether they understood or no, 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 no. When the children comes to the school and colleges, like how I, I'm just using Baiju Zep not to give him publicity. Baiju Zep, my students who are doing the civil service examination, uh, competitive exam, they were telling, once you register an app non-stop, that app keeps calling. I, many exercise apps are also there which they keep reminding you, did you do your exercise? Did you do like that to find out the children whether they have done the exercises? Pranayama, internal and external physical exercises as well as internal to find out whether the height and weight is in proper order. Whether when they reached home, whether they had touched the father and mother's feet and hugged them. They did sp spend time with the father and mother, how much time they spent, how much time they spent with the rainwater harvesting and the soil trying to understand the nature. That is where you knew the children, the teacher, yes. In the chicken soup, it was said, the professor took the students to the neighborhood downtown or to the slum and they asked everybody, what would you like, what is your future, what do you think about your future? And everybody said, there is no future. We can't think what is going to happen tomorrow because every day there's a fight erupting, knifing, killing. We have no future at all. 20 years down the line, the professor takes the same students, he invited them all and said, we'll go back to the same slum to find out what happened to those students which we interviewed. 30 of them or so they interviewed. They went to the slum and they found, except one or two, all the other students, were, children were there. They all grown up and he was shocked to hear stories that majority of them became lawyers, engineers, doctors and all in big positions. Then he called them and asked, 20 years back I asked you what was your future, what do you like to become? And he said, we do not know what will happen tomorrow. We don't think about the future. Tomorrow itself is dangerous. And how did all this change? The professor asked that those children in the downtown, they said it is because of that one teacher, that old teacher. What did she do? She is the one who made us like that. So professor goes to meet that teacher, she was very old. And professor went and asked that teacher, look madam, all the students said they have no future 20 years back. Now 20 years down the line, everybody became a professor, lecturers, lawyers, doctors, engineers, varieties. Yes. And they all said, what is the success? And they tell you, the success is because of you. What did you do, dear teacher? And the teacher said, I give them love, nothing else. Every time a fight happens, she never scolds and she gave them love. Every time they fail, she never said anything, she gave them love. People are looking for love. I knew the people who worked for me, said Oscar Schindler. When you know people, when you know your parents, when you know your friends, when you know your people's are neighbors next door, when you know people, you have to behave towards them like human beings, not like my Indranaga people who are trying to kill me and destroy me. They know me for more than 39 years I am in Indranagar just working and almost every house in Indranagar there is one student under their grandchildren or whatever it is work day and night in the streets of Indranagar and now a small group are behaving as if they wanted to go to the BD and ask the BD to demolish my building and remove me not only demolish my building demolish this building where I am staying also asking the owners to throw me out of the building that is because they have become like any other people at present in the political arena in the companies use and throw so that the disease is spread to the people I am not against that but I am trying to tell you to remind you back the politicians must go to the voters to find out whether they can behave or take care of them towards them like human beings because they worked with you. The teachers must feel that the children are mine and I work for them not expect anything in return. That one, the app is very important and the companies, if these three people have decided that we are not poor at all, we never fall sick at all, we are the most powerful, healthiest nation in the world, we can tell and children can go back with trust, trust you don't have to create in the temples and churches and masjid, 
Faith, you don't have to clean temples, masjids and churches. It is there. You don't have to even teach them to love. Love flows. Faith flows.